Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video. For today we will be doing another nice cute painting, simple one. We're gonna do a turtle and I will start today also with a sketch explaining you step by step how to sketch the tur turtle and then do the watercolors and watercolors are gonna be here quite simple. So for that first of all I will be using just this, this is I think HB, no, no 5B pencil because I did want to uh, make it quite dark so you can see the sketch. Uh, an eraser also just a regular printing paper any paper you have will just do here and for the painting i will be using this claire fontaine fontaine watercolor paper it is 300 gsm or 140 pounds cold press watercolor paper 100 percent cotton 18 by 24 centimeters or 7 by nine and a half inches but any watercolor paper you have will do it doesn't have to be a cotton watercolor paper and it doesn't have to be necessarily 300 gsm so whatever watercolor paper you have it will do just fine this one is also in a block so i won't be needing to stretch it if you have a single sheet of paper you might consider Consider stretching that and watercolors I will be using these watercolors from Etcher some of my watercolors for the brushes I will be using quite large brush mover brush and also some larger round brushes but of course if you don't have a large uh, mover brush any larger brush you have will do also today we will be using some ink pens and I will be using a little bit thicker ink pen today because I do want the markings to be very visible. I do want that uh, ink pen to be visible. So I will be using a little bit darker, uh, uh, thicker ink pen. This is 08 and possibly I will be using also one a little bit thinner, 05, 01, 03. I will see later on, but I will uh, tell you when I do start just for the details a little bit thinner. If you have also just one ink pen, it will do just fine. You don't have to have a few of them and that is I think everything we're gonna use today so right now we can start with the sketch first thing I'm gonna do is measure the size of my paper and just to see how the how the size is so I can when I start to do my sketch I would know where to uh, sketch it and how big to sketch it all well, that could be really helpful because you know Later on, you won't be thinking, oh my God, I did too, uh, my sketch is too big or my sketch is too small for the size of my paper. Just do the borders on your paper that you're sketching on and it will be a lot easier for you. So this is the turtle that we're gonna sketch. And the first thing I'm gonna do is um, in the center later on when we put this onto our watercolor paper we can tilt it slightly that's what I'm going to do but for now I will just uh, draw it in the center of my paper and first thing I'm going to do is do the one line going upwards to downwards just the size that I want my uh, shell the house of the turtle to be and then afterwards I'm going to just divide it into two parts and then also into four parts into fourths and then do the one uh, line that's going to go through the middle and I do want sides of my turtle shell to be approximately three fourths something like that of my shell so I'm gonna measure the size of that one this is gonna be this is something like one third so I'm going to measure that like this, put it on the side, then pick up my pencil, still keeping the finger where it is. You can help yourself to, uh, use a ruler, but it's not necessary. So that's the other one. So this is going to be, that, that is where, we're gonna, where our uh, shell is going to go. Now I'm going to just draw an ellipse shape and I will be turning my paper because that makes it easier for me to draw the ellipse if it's easier for you to draw it just like that that's also fine but i'm gonna you know help myself and make it a little bit nicer that circle that ellipse so now that i drawn it you can actually do some adjustments and see where you might want to 
make it a little bit more round or a little bit more elliptical and this is going to be the shell of our turtle so as you can see here on the lower part it goes a little bit downwards has that little bit little point there and on the upper part it is a little bit more straight so we'll do one straighter line on the upper part and I'm just wiggling that line because that the shell of our uh, turtle is not really straight it's a little bit wiggly so now I'm gonna do that wiggle all around like that our turtle like that so that's our shell done now we'll do the head and head is going to be just a little bit larger than one fourth of our uh, of our turtle so something like that something around the fourth it has a little slight curve here and also slight curve on this side like that and it's not really straight on the top rounded so it has this little wiggle upwards so i'm gonna do that to that little wiggle on top so that's our head done now we're gonna move to uh, draw the her well i guess her hands they're not hands but i'm not sure how it's called i'm gonna call it just i'm just gonna call it hands so we're gonna do this is somewhere around the half from these parts and one fourth is somewhere around here just beneath that one fourth i will start with the with that her feather or <laughs> her arm just like that go do one more curve from the center going to that spot you drew and then going outwards and downwards like that so and then on where the one half is just beneath that half do the lower part so we're gonna do the other side now as I said just one half one fourth just beneath that fourth we're gonna do the curve again like that and just continue the curve on the curvature on the other side like that going downwards just beneath the one four one a half again just do the and now we're gonna do these it has those lines just didn't you don't have to do that just now you can do that later on in your sketch i mean where you see some adjustments needed you can definitely do the adjustments then uh we're gonna do the we're gonna do her leggies and her leggies are gonna go same you can just draw one line here so here and one line from here like there so we're gonna start here and do that feather shape just near to the center again and then one curve like that so again same thing on this side and I'm gonna do one more curve here like this and that's the that's the other leggy of our third L. and now we're gonna do these it has those lines it's just didn't you don't have to do that just now you can do that later on in your sketch I mean where you see some adjustments needed you can definitely do the adjustments now we're gonna do the insides of our shell so here we start with line again wiggly line a little bit thinner upwards going downwards it gets a little bit thicker this uh, and again then a little bit more place beneath those two now we're gonna do the inside of her so again it's a little bit you can see here I have one two three four five so you can straight away um, divide that into fives we have the lines from the before but we're not gonna really use those lines maybe just some of them and like that so this is make it more simple for you and just do the lines this one goes here and then backwards here straight has a point like that again next one point going straight on the lower part point straight on the lower part like this and
make it slightly curvy like that and the last one goes right here so we're gonna do the connect that to the edge just the curvature slightly going downwards like that from that point like that so that's the shell inside done and now we have just a couple of lines here and for them I'm gonna it's not really that important where you're gonna do those lines like that just a couple of them to the center and on the other side somewhat similar I'm sorry I'm not sure if you can hear that but they're just having some constructions next door so it's well it is kind of annoying I'm not sure as I said if you can hear that so this is our turtle done we drew our turtle now we will just trace it onto our watercolor paper but before we do that we need to scribble on the back if you have a tracing paper you can use a tracing paper I do have a graphite paper that I usually use but I know that many of you don't so I'm not gonna use it either I will just use my pencil to scribble on the back and to do my sketch just to show you that you can do this definitely without the fancy tools you don't have to have those fancy fancy things now I will place it onto my watercolor paper like this and this is something that can be used and I'm gonna trace it this is something that is gonna be used and now when you're tracing it you don't have to add those lines of course just the ones that are gonna be used for for inking so the turtle shell like that so you can use this to do a larger size painting maybe to give someone for a nursery this is gonna be quite cute and simple or maybe a card to make it into a card you can do well whatever you like with this idea and take it as far as you want to go I could just speed this up There you go, we have now traced it. And next thing we're gonna do is use our ink pen. And as I said, I will start th with this uh, 0 0.8, a little bit, well, quite thicker one. But of course, you can definitely use thinner ink pen. If you don't have this size, you can definitely use a thinner ink pen. I don't wanna smudge it all over, so I will just put this paper and I'm gonna start with my inking and that's what we're gonna do first then move on to the to painting to watercolors and again as I always do I won't do one straight line but I will just wiggle with my brush and I'm not even pressing hard so it's not gonna be even that thick even though it is a little bit thicker ink pen I won't be pressing that hard And if your line stays broken in some parts, that's fine. You don't have to connect those. So our turtle is sketched, you can add a little bit more details to her head or maybe to her uh, feathers, but I'll see, maybe I'll add that later on when we finish with our watercolors. So we will now uh, be doing some watercolors and I won't prevent the paper, but I will just pick up this large mod brush. As I said, you don't have to use this brush and just top in some clean water here and there on my paper somewhere I'm gonna be a little bit smaller and somewhere 
a little bit larger splatters that is fine now i will pick up this again a little bit larger round brush and pick up some ultramarine this is ultramarine and to that ultramarine i will add just a little bit of this is sky blue from nature some sky blue to create the paint for my C and I'm gonna well I'm gonna water that paint quite down and see where I did those splatter splatters before with just a clean water and I touch they'll just look really really beautiful slightly different than when you just add the splatters and I will pick up a little bit of green mix it in with my blues to create some turquoise color and I'm gonna tap that one also in here and there just to add a little bit more variety to RC like that and you can also pick up just a clean water and splatter that we will have some of the watercolors inside so that's going to be our background our C. we're not going to paint the entire C. if that is your preference if you want to paint the entire C, by all means definitely something you can do now i will pick up some well this is i think uh some burnt uh, burnt umber if I'm not mistaken and do some splatters on our third third all a little bit more and maybe even on one side I have a lot of water here just smudge that water around like that Oh, I'm sorry, this is very loud. Hopefully you can't hear that. It is quite annoying. A little bit darker paint and maybe add, top it on this side where you have that brown added already, that burnt umber, just top in a little bit more of the darker brown and some splatters around our turtle turtle shell and some splatters here and i will pick up a little bit of the yellow also add it to my mix and then splatter that yellow like that just to clean water to move that paint around and again i will be using that burnt umber to do some see i just picked up the paint still wet from our from how we splattered so i'm just tapping in a little bit of the paint on her well head and her leggies like that and a little bit of the darker brown tap in some of those and you can even slightly turn your paper around just to move the paint if it goes out doesn't matter just pick it up with your towel pick up some more dark brown and again add it here on one side and just top it in with my brush to create some shadows just a little bit more and maybe some parts of our turtle we have this neck of hers we add there a little bit of that darker paint and a little bit more here 
like that and some just move the paint around with your brush like that I do have here this is somewhat um, this is called a brick paint but to me it looks maybe like English English red I will pick up a little bit of that paint mix it in with my browns and just tap in some splatters and maybe add that paint on some of the borders around the borders where the where those lines are on her shell there you go just to make it a little bit more interesting now we can dry that and come back so this is now completely dry and we can move to adding a little bit more of the details and as i said i will be again using this brush round brush and i will pick up some darker brown mixed in with that um well as i said it looks to me a little bit like uh, english red so somewhat a reddish color brown red brown color and do some details here and i'm gonna do the details on sides and i do want this part to be a little bit darker so i did not prevent the paper this time and i do want this part to be slightly darker so i'm adding that mix and on top of that mix i will be adding only dark brown and i won't be painting all of those just few and for the last one i've just watered down that paint and here on this side just watered down this paint and I'm gonna stop I'm not gonna go further away just picking up now that dark brown and just tapping in here and there on that paint I've added to let it bleed in one into each other and create some darker spots like that again moving on to the inside I'm gonna do couple of these also not going all the way to the border of my shape like that this one again not going all the way and this one is gonna be just partially done I will smudge the paint here like that and here also just very light wash smudge the paint like that and here light wash here and that's it not gonna do all of those and also i will pick up a little bit more of that dark brown and top it in on in some parts on these inside like that so not gonna do all of them all the way just some parts like that to add there you go and it will bleed one into each other so again picking up a little bit of that brick color mixing it in there with my browns like that adding here on neck and also a little bit on her leggies and a little bit here on her feathers or hands like that and smudging it see there you go just smudging it slightly just to make a distinction to make that visible some shapes a little bit more to make them just stand out a little bit more again that darker brown just beneath her feathers and also just here where the where the edges are where the shadows would be like that just topping in with the tip of my brush nothing particular nothing special here's some there would be some shadows so and that's it now i will pick up with the, just a little bit smaller brush again a lot of that dark brown Put it here and just top it in or on, on our turtle back maybe on her head 
here. So just keeping those brown ones on the turtle and adding just a little bit of the water like that and then picking up again that blue some ultramarine mixing it in with our I have that dark brown now so that ultramarine couple of splatters with that just around like this and then some with added just a clean water like that and if couple go onto our turtle that is also fine one more thing i'm gonna do is do a little line on head on that turtle head like that just to again that uh, make that shape slightly visible not to leave it just green or blue and that's it maybe one more thing i will do when uh, i dry that completely but I will come back to that. So now that this all is also dry, I will pick up this larger round brush and some yellow. Place it here. A very light wash of yellow. And I will just add that on top. Because I do believe that yellow just gives a special tone and shine to our painting. It just glazes it on top, adds that beautiful beautiful shine and it will make our turtle stand out so i'm just adding yellow nut again on the entire turtle just some parts where I do have that brown so I'm adding a little bit of that yellow on top a very very light wash just to make that part pop and you will definitely see how it just comes to life with that yellow on top a little bit more here and just a little bit more on the head there you go and now I will dry that. So now that this is also dry, I will just do a couple more touch-ups with this smaller 01 ink pen so that those lines are not just left alone here. I will do oh, a little bit more of the details and just where those lines are, just around them, maybe add one, not the entire way, but just like one more line here and there to make those lines well not be so lonesome <laughs> like that and again wiggling with my ink pen and adding those lines like that so making them slightly broken all around like that and it will just give a nicer maybe note to our the entire drawing and the entire turtle maybe here are some shadows so I'm gonna add a couple of lines there and here again maybe some turtle for the turtle head there you go some fed on those again I'm calling them feathers like that just do a couple of details on those maybe here are some shadows also where the shadows are some a little bit more of the details and I believe that's somewhat it we don't want to go overboard with those details also like that 
So I'm just looking maybe to add just a little bit more of that turquoise here to maybe cover like that a little bit larger surface like that so it does look like a water just on top a light wash of that bluish turquoise on top and not all the way just maybe around the turtle here and there there you go now it's definitely done definitely finished so hopefully this was helpful to you we did another real time another sketch and you can definitely use this sketch to use any color you like to to paint to draw your turtle to finish it up just the way you want it and i hope this is something helpful to you i hope you like it if you do like it please hit the like button share it comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me and i guess again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye